Hey guys, I'm gonna go ahead and do a video on the zero return too. I mean, I haven't put a video up in a little while about talking about this, but anyhow, here's a Bobcat Fast Cat Pro. Pretty nice zero return. It's got a Kawasaki in it. It's an FX 651V. It's a pretty good engine though. Mm -hmm. Definitely a lot better than Kohler. <laughs> but, um, yeah, it has a 52 inch deck on it, I think. Yep, right there, 52 inch. It's a nice mower. It only has 145.5 hours on it. I think we got this in 2015, I think, is what, whenever the heck we got it. I can't remember. But, um,. You know, the only thing it really does need is a spring, and it does need a new belt, but I'm not going to replace the belt. But, I mean, it's a pretty good mower for sure. But, um, it has two fuel tanks on it, too, which is usually what both, what all the zero returns have. As you can see, you can switch it back here to either the right hand or the left hand tank. It's on, it's on the left hand tank now. Uh, I don't. I usually use that one. I should just start using this one because the oil's right here to check the oil and the oil drains right here. The air cleaner. But um, I don't even know how much gas is even in this. I've I've been using. I usually just take and start it and let the let it charge. Let the uh, battery charge up. But um, that's really about it for that. And, you got your, yeah, it's too hard to see, but you got your battery down there, your hydrostatic, or, or your um, hydro oil down there. But, um, that's about all for this, though. There's not really much to talk about on this, but, um, I did get the deck on the little John Deere here, just to test, because I did get new mower, I did get bolts for it. I just wanted to test to make sure it works. I just need to get a belt for it. But it works. This thing here, this has a chute for it too. It's the little um, rubber piece there. You don't have to worry about that. <laughs> they get in the road all the time. They always fall down or you smack them off something. But, um, yeah, that's about all for this thing. Like I said, I, I, I know it still has these shroud cover. I know it still has the belt fully covers and stuff on it. I never really take them off. I just never take it off. I probably should, but I just don't want to lose them. But, um, yeah, I just don't want to lose them, so. I still have a bunch of parts to order for this, the John Deere there, and I just need to order a belt for the L little LT-166. And that's about all I'm going to do for that. And i got to change the oil in this yet, too. I'm going to wait till closer to smelling season and do it. Which I know probably next month or maybe... At least next month, I'm going to start ordering parts for everything. For the Kubota over there and that. And that. this thing here just needs an oil change and that spring. I have a spring, but I don't know if it'll work or not. But I'll find out, I guess. But, you know, at least you can, you can access the belts and everything right here. Which, what I think I find stupid on this, because this is a well-built machine, but there ain't no grease fittings for these. It's not like those where the heck the grease fitting is on there. This thing doesn't have very many grease fittings for being a well-built machine for sure. Yeah. Well. In case any of you guys are wondering what's going on with the Oliver, because I know some of you guys are probably going to ask. I had just went ahead and decided to start putting it back together. I'm not even going to worry about spending money to put bearings and stuff in. I'm just going to order an oil pan gasket and put fresh oil in it and, and just run it and hopefully that rattling noise either a goes away or i don't know what's causing it so i just went ahead and put the air cleaner back on the valve cover hook the preheat back up i just need to put the blow by tube back on and i just got to get a gasket for this and put it back on i did clean the oil pan all up too it's nice and clean now you can actually see the freaking green again underneath it but this is really pretty much ready to go. I just got to put the hood, the side panels, hook all that back up, hook the batteries back up. I did change the the um, transmission fluid in it. 
And um, that's about all for that. Once I get this thing running, I'll do a video, well, probably a cold start video and a video of running it, doing something or who knows what. But um, like I said, that's about it for this video because there's not much, really much to talk about on this. So, I mean, I, we really haven't had any, much trouble with it at all. I think the worst thing we had to do was a belt break. I mean, that was about all. But I think that's about all for this video. So don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe.